Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at some crazy good blender generators you probably missed. The world of generators is here, forget about polygon modeling, this is procedural modeling at its peak. These generators are some of the best, they turn a single click into a building or a city or a few clicks into a planet and more. At number one, we have this medieval castle generator. I bet you $100 that you can't model a castle from scratch to this level of detail in a week or two. This generator does it in less than a few clicks. The level of detail is unprecedented. You can make the castle as big as you want and make changes as you want. Let me see you try to do that with your handmade version. <laughs> Number two, we have Hila Building Generator. This is another generator that does work that would be done by 20 artists for a month but does it in a few seconds. If you doubt what I'm saying, open up Blender and try it yourself. I bet you another $100 you will give up in the next two hours. This generator doesn't just generate the outside of the building like most generators. This generates the interiors as well, adding staircases, different rooms, floors, ceilings and everything you can expect for an interior. And number three, we have this planet generator. Don't for a second try to compare this generator to any other planet generator you have seen. Just watch this promo video of a camera flying from outer space into the planet. I have no idea how this is possible. The level of detail, the texturing, the clouds, putting something like this together is disgustingly difficult. But this generator makes it super, super easy. And this is just a time lapse of the video, just so I can show you how detailed this planet is including cities, villages, fields, mountains, everything that you can expect all in a single mesh. I can't even fathom how much polygon count is required to, to create something like this. Yeah, you, you have to check out the add-on for yourself uh, to, to see what I'm talking about and the, uh, all links are in the description. <music> At number four, we have Droplet Generator. If I'm not careful, this list is going to be a list of generators that can do things you couldn't do easily in Blender or that could not be done in a reasonable time. You can find tutorials on how to add droplets using the particle system, but the droplets will, will overlap and won't have the same droplet effect and gravity pull you see acting on the ones generated by this generator. This add-on also supports animation and the droplets can also leave a trail of water and absorb droplets as they go. It also comes with uh, its own droplet shader material that uh, is applied to the, to the textures that you are using. And number five, we have this real flame generator. Your potato PC will probably thank you for this. No more stressing with heavy fire simulations. This add-on just uses geometry nodes to create real-time flames. It works for any objects you can throw at it. The fire looks amazing and you don't need an expensive computer to render it. Just get any object and throw on the generator and you will have fire in just a few clicks. Number six, we have Dust Generator. It's hard to name a scenario where dust particles don't fit in a scene, but for some reason, they are skipped or added as an afterthought. This is because they are not easy to make, so it's easy to forget them too. But with this one-click generator, you can add animated particles in just a few seconds. These particles are also great at adding a nice bokeh effect or depth of field in your scene. Number seven, we have the wheel generator. Car wheels are those things that look simple to make until you try them. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Every 3D artist's first attempt at 3D modeling begins with trying to model a human character and cars. How naive we all are at the start. I wish I had this wheel generator from the beginning. It would have made my life much, much simpler. <music> And number eight, we have spider web generators. Standing out in a sea of artists requires you have a great eye for detail. This spider web generator can be an extra touch to your scenes to make them stand out. It can create a wide range of webs and structures. The webs can also snap to objects near them to give you a more realistic spider web scene. You can also add water droplets to your webs to make them look wet. At number nine, we have Bagger Rain. If you struggle making people wet, here is your consolation add-on. This rain generator can be used to make everything wet, make heavy rain in just a few clicks. It's also capable of making wet shaders. Make wood wet, make hard rock wet, get characters wet, uh, make everything wet. Number 
Number 10, we have Sci-Fi Space Station Generator. I swear to you, I have seen big budget sci-fi movies with spaceships that don't come close to the level of detail this generator makes. So make sure you don't miss out on this spaceship generator. It comes with a lot of detailings, including lighting and animation. Number 11, we have this easy traffic generator. When Geometry Nodes was being pitched, it was pitched as a future replacement of everything in Blender. It was promoted as everything nodes. I used to think that was just promotion BS, but not anymore. If you told me a few years ago you could simulate traffic like this without ever animating anything, I would not believe you. Well, this easy traffic generator does exactly that. Number 12, we have Volumetric Clouds Generator. A month ago, I made a video of how to download hundreds of volumetric clouds that you can import into Blender, but I hate going out of Blender for anything. I'm simply that lazy. So when a solution like this clouds volumetric generator pops up, it gets me excited and pumped. You can use it to generate any sorts, sorts of clouds for your skies. <laughs> Number 12, we have this rock generator. Can't believe your eyes? Me too. But do believe that this generator can generate rocks with the level of detail you are seeing. No need for further explanation. Let your imagination run wild with what you can do with such a tool. Number 13, we have this fish generator. If you want to create a school of fishes animated and under the ocean, then this generator should not be skipped by you. Control the speed, fish animation, and more. Number 13, Antenna Radar Generator. This sci-fi antenna generator can be used for a lot of things. You can use it to create detailed rooftops with satellite and network dishes, ships, or just cell towers in your renders. The generated antennas are quite detailed and textured as well. Number 14, we have Infinite Plant Generator. This generator generates all sorts of plants and gives you a level of control and detailing that I have not seen in a lot of plant generators. Number 15, we have Spock Structure Sci-Fi Packer. If you like pulling out, then this generator is what you pull out first when you want to create a sci-fi interior or a ship interior. It's a collection of sci-fi elements and can place them onto surfaces in a way that looks functional. Number 16, we have this Neon Generator. Neon Generators are fascinating. They turn boring renders into amazing renders, but they are not easy to make. This generator uses Blender Animation nodes, which is different from Geometry nodes, to make neon lights easy to create. And number 17, we have this Flow Generator. Sometimes textures are not good enough to get the level of detail you want. This Flow Generator will generate all the tiles, which will capture lights and reflections the way you want. This list can go on forever, but I'll leave it to here so you can jump into Blender and start playing with these generators. Thank you.